Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Build a Fang Tooth, where I not only show you how to build a fang tooth, but I also show you how to, you can go about it so you can understand the process yourself and understand how to build the ship yourself. So the fang tooth is a skirmish class ship designed to hit skirmish targets such as the uranium scourge blockade targets. If you try it in different targets like Forsaken Mission or Titanium, you will fail and be disappointed. Make sure you keep watching the video all the way through for my advice on flagships and crews. So let's get things started with specials. So for the engine special, which every ship needs, you're going to want to either use option A, Magnus Drive. I like three or two. Magnus Drive one is too weak, and even Magnus Drive two is kind of a little bit weak. So Magnus Drive three. If you don't have that, use speed system six or five, and that's going to go pretty good and it'll give your ship a bunch of mobility because that's important because it's a skill hole in these skirmish targets here. As far as defense, my number one choice is Alloy Armor CTX-3, which gives both explosive and concussive defense. Or if you don't have that, Ablative Armor 3, which is a researchable special that only gives explosive defense. Next special is Torpedo Damage, and I'm going to recommend Advanced Torpedo Tubes. It's the one that came out with the Fang Tooth. If you don't have that, you can use Advanced Concussive Payload. That increases uh, concussive damage reload a little bit. Or Strike Warheads, which just increases concussive damage here. So those are three options for you, and most people in the game should be able to have that. If you don't, there's also a researchable special you can use. The next special you want to add here is a bonus damage special, such as Sealed Fire Charge, which adds torpedo critical hit and damage and stuff like that, or Concussive Upgrade, which will add just general concussive damage, or any other special that boosts damage in any way you want to. Next up is Reload, and if you have this special, I like Countermeasure Loaders 4, and that's useful for giving 20-25% bonus reload to your concussive torpedoes. Next, the bonus special, if you, your two options here. If you chose for the engine special, if you put Speed System 5 or 6 on there, you need to use Caterpillar Drive 3 to increase your cloak. If not, and you put Magnus, then you won't be able to stack Cloak, and you're going to want to put a turn special on here, like Ion Thrusters 4 or 3, and 3 is a researchable special again. And then one quick note about detection specials. You need one detection per special per fleet, something that gives you sonar. I like Sonic Carding 3. That's the highest one, and that's going to give you the most sonar currently. And if you don't have that, then you can use Sonar Targeting 3, which is a researchable special. I'm posting all these researchable stuff just to give lower levels an op opportunity here, figure out what they can use. Next is weapons. So there are two main torpedoes you're going to want to use, Nightmare Torpedoes and Delirium Torpedoes. Nightmare is better, and it gives more damage, damage per second, damage per ton, and all that stuff. So use the Nightmare primarily, and if you need to take some off for weight, which you will need to, you won't be able to max it all the way out, use, about, use the rest of Deliriums. If you don't have those, then you can go down and use the Charon Torpedo. Do not use the Fire Twisters or Mayhem, because those don't smart track the target. They're a splash weapon. They just don't work. So use Nightmare first, Delirium second. Also, the Charon Torpedo works. If you don't have any of those three, just use one of the regular Assault Torpedoes or the Skirmish Torpedoes or even the Researchable Torpedoes if you're really low level. But primarily Nightmare and Delirium. Next up is Armors here, and the primary one you're going to want to use for this is Charged Armor, which is from the Forsaken Mission. I'm recommending one Charged Armor CT for, for Concussive and two Charged Xs, and you're using more Xs because there's more explosive damage and there's a lower explosive pool and all that stuff, so you're going to want to use those because the pool runs out faster. If you don't have Charge, then you can use two regular D2 CTs. You can use higher ones, but that adds more repair and build time, so I don't like those. Or you can use two D1Xs or D2Xs because those have explosive defense, also pretty low build time. So as far as other things go, there is also the Phantom Flagship you can use. I like using that one because I put my detection special on that just so it's less different build stuff across my fleet. And the Phantom Fang Tooth will allow you to, one, hide on map for most fleets besides the Tide Seekers, which is a Harlock's Tide Seeker. And secondly, increases your potential damage by 25% because you're using another ship there that you couldn't use because a regular flagship can't be a submarine. If you don't have the Phantom Fang Tooth and you want another flagship there, you can use a gunboat or you can use a Phantom Barracuda or something like that just to hide on the world map if that's something you're into. As far as crews go, I'm going to recommend Sea Serpents, which adds evade and turn speed, and also Silent Hunters, which adds critical hit and speed. That second one's pretty useful, actually, if you have a sealed fire charge on your fleet here. 
So I'll have the links to the builds I used, the ones I came up with here in the description. But if you want to change it up for your own personal preference based on anything I've recommended, feel free to do that. I know one guy left a comment saying he liked to use high velocity rounds to increase projectile speed, which I thought was pretty cool. And if you think that would work for you, then you can go ahead and try that. So if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like and share with a friend or alliance member who might be helped by this. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just go to YouTube and search Derpy the Cow Battle Pirates and click subscribe. It helps me out a lot. So Derpy the Cow, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.